Good mm -hmm. afternoon, everybody. Um, I would like to thank my wonderful classmates for giving me this honor as your class speaker today. I'll try my best to keep this as painfully long as possible, just like Ty's last case study. <laughs> Before coming to prep, like a lot of us, I was leapfrogging around to find my place. For me, finding the balance of a career that incorporated the ever-changing scope of medicine and patient care was where I wanted to break into. Jumping from working in a research lab to a small business, I landed in a urgent care as a medical assistant. As I was working on my 13th hour of work, I had a patient that introduced me to the world of cardiac devices, and I'm forever grateful for that patient. I believe I worked extremely hard to get to where I am now. And my story of getting to prep is similar to many of my classmates. We have faced many adversities to get to where we are now. And having to successfully complete prep has opened many opportunities for this exciting future that we have. I would like to begin with thanking Matt O'Neill and Bob Mattioli for providing us with this gateway to a bright new future in the cardiac space. Satya and Barbara, thank you for helping us smoothly transitioning us into the program. Matt Wilson, thank you for feverishly working on finding us opportunities. We want you to know that we have mad respect for all the unseen work that you do for us. Ella, girl, Thank you so much for constantly providing us snacks, especially the Rice Krispie treats. And if you really want to know, Aaron is the one that's been constantly depleting your snack tray. <laughs> Greg, I can speak for the entire class and say, on occasion, you strike fear in some of us, but unanimously, we all agree that you have been one of the best professors we have ever had. Susan. Thank you so much for all the hard work you put in to getting us out into clinicals. That experience was life-changing for us. It gave us the opportunity to witness all the avenues PrepMD can offer. It took me a bit to understand your Bostonian accent, but I finally got the idea for it. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> you're so great. None of us will ever know how to properly say your last name. Keep it right. Thank you for all your support and always going the extra mile on answering our questions from writing on the whiteboard and coming back to us through Slack. EP, Elisa, our unicorn, the aberrant queen. <laughs> Thank you so much for introducing the complex world of EP to us. You did it with such grace and sarcasm that I will never forget your Grammy nominated rendition of Vanilla Ice's song, Ice Ice Baby. Dun, 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 dun. In these uncertain times of COVID, I and this, um, my entire class would like to thank the faculty and staff for how grateful we are for all the measures you guys took to get us on site. We know it took a lot of work and a lot of dedication um, in order for us to all get to Boston and to be with each other. So we want to thank you as a class for that. And as EP calls us, um, to us smart cookies. When I look at the screen, I see 17 individuals that were strangers not just but six months ago. It's crazy how close we became um, even with being six feet apart. Most of our first encounters was right after the wheel of death before our phase one final. What a time. <laughs> and when I think about our class, there are several words that come to mind. Inquisitive like our classmate Brianna, who always posed a question. Selfless, like Jamie, who would go out of his way to assist any student, no matter what was on his plate. Sassy, like Mackenzie and Blaine. Benevolent, like Danny and Binyam, or as I personally love to call him, Daniam. Witty, like our silent Andrew. And aberrant, like myself. Something we all share together is the character of grit. Grit, the dictionary defines as firmness of mind and spirit or unyielding courage in the face of hardship. Even in these uncertain times, we journeyed long and far to get to where we are now. Some journeyed only an hour away from a place like Worcester or as a native Bostonian told me the other day, Wusta. Some journeyed only, um, sorry, while well, some drove 45 hours across country in just a weekend. 
we all uprooted our lives in pursuit of a new career. There were long days of lectures as we rolled out of our beds to our virtual classes and even longer nights of studying. We persevered and it brought us to where we are today. We all had to get out of our comfort zones to improve ourselves as a whole. Strength, perseverance, and courage. These are all characteristics of grit and this cohort. I'm extremely proud to be next to all of you outstanding individuals. We took a chance. We learned about more than just cardiac devices and electrophysiology here. We gained the knowledge of leadership, interview tactics, presentation skills, and how to properly sanitize programmers. I guess we can also apply to the sanitation industry while we're at it. Before I close, I would like to thank our family and friends who gave us endless support and love during our time here at PrEP. To our classmates that have already been placed, good luck on your new endeavors. We are so excited for you guys. To those that are still searching, never settle for anything less than your worth. And when the right opportunity comes along, don't let it pass by. I'll leave you with a quote. It's per aspera ad astra, which is Latin for through hardships to the stars. Go out there and get it, guys. Thank you.